Denver Black with Soilcraft here. Follow up. I'm out here in the bean field. I've been trying to keep uh, kind of keep things rolling and keep you guys abreast of what we're doing out here. What are we doing? So one of the biggest goals um, of my projects here in this field has been white mold, sclerotinia. It's a, it's a big problem in beans. We suppress it with with all kind of fungicides. Yuck. Yummy. Yuck. No, not yummy. Yuck. And um, and so. You know, our goal here is to raise nutritious, resilient, abundant crops that that resist disease, and then they impart uh, resilience to us. And look, guys, I'm out here looking for for sclerotinia, and and honestly, last week um, the normal field guy who was pretty concerned with this says we need to run fungicide. That's where this is at, so we don't have a train wreck. What did we do instead? We applied minerals. We did a full year with nutrition and we're letting the biology work guys because with the biology is here we've applied the biology we know tilled this in but this is incredible because this crop has been up against it from the beginning these are early beans seeded in the cold soils we had cold rainy wet worst thing you could ask we had pinning we had rhizoctonia in this particular field where we applied our vermicast tea we literally saw you can look back in the videos we literally saw the woody stem where the rhizoc had affected the stem, we, we've seen it heal over and the vascular system actually healed. And then by applying these crop nutrients, I'm out here looking hard for white mold, for sclerotinia, and honestly, I've yet to find it. We're gonna keep digging to see, but it was about every four or five plants that I would lay over last week, you'd see a pod or a lower leaf um, covered in white mold and we don't see that I still see some mushrooms down here but what else I see are worm castings there's worm castings we see the plant material breaking down as it should be but no active infection at this time it looks we'll keep looking we're gonna keep vigilant and keep feeding this crop but if you sense some excitement in my voice it's because I'm stoked because these things are true. We know when we support the crop, we put when we when we add bi good biology, we feed biology. When we feed our crop, we know the organisms are resilient, and we know that we can grow more nutritious crops without the need for pesticides, guys. This is exciting. So I wanted to take a minute to share what I'm seeing, and uh, we'll we'll keep continue to follow this out and see how the yield. Thanks, I uh, look forward to continuing to share with you our progress. Godspeed.